My name is G.K. Ganesan and this is a continuing series during the pandemic. Today's topic is can an employer refuse to pay his employees wages during the lockdown? Much of the answers that I have been able to give you in this video has been as a result of a collaboration with another industrial lawyer called V.K. Raj to whom I express my gratitude straight away. Now the answer to the question whether an employer can refuse to pay salaries to an employee during the lockdown is no. Why? Because the employer's obligation to pay the salaries is a continuing one. So unless the event like the lockdown is a very long enduring event, the obligation to pay continues. So let me start with the question about why. Why should salaries be paid? The answer has to do with the duration of the coronavirus lockdown. It is going to last a long time. But how long is long? Two weeks? Three weeks? Four weeks? Six weeks? That's not long. And that is no excuse for an employer to cut down the salaries of his employee. Uh, the work of an employer at this time is suspended. It is suspended because he cannot get to work. He cannot perform his duties. If he was an engine operator, he's got no engine to operate on. If he's a driver, he's got no bus to drive. If he's a clerk, there is no documents for him to work on. And therefore, there is no work. His work is suspended. Suspended means what? It means somebody is prevented from carrying out his function. Now that is different from permanent severance. Permanent severance is where you cannot perform your duty at all. So what is the legal status of an employee whose work has been suspended? Well, there are two Indian cases. The first one occurred in 1954. It's relevant because the industrial courts in Malaysia and I presume various industrial courts all over the Commonwealth use similar principles and let's find out what is the story behind this gentleman called Thunderbani. Thunderbani was for some reason suspended by his employer. I assume it must have had something to do with discipline. But during suspension, was the employer required to pay the salaries of Thunderbani? The employer said no. He's been suspended. He's not working. Why should I pay his salary? Well, the Indian High Court said, you have to pay his salary. Because it said, suspension simply means he's debarred from doing his duty. That's a temporary deprivation of his office. That doesn't mean he ceases to be an employee. So you have to pay him. So therefore, the court concluded that because he was suspended does not mean he's not an employee. And as a result, Dandapani had to be paid his salary. And that case will be very useful for people like employees in Malaysia or elsewhere in the Commonwealth who are being suspended from doing their work right now because of the uh, coronavirus lockdown. There was a second case in 1991. It happened in Madras in India and there was a guy called Punevanam. He was also suspended. He was suspended from a company called Krishnaveni Roadways and Krishnaveni Roadways refused to pay his salaries and he went to court. And the High Court said, even after the suspension, the relationship between employer and employee continues. And therefore, there is no stoppage of the relationship. His salaries have to be paid. But what about this concept of frustration and force majeure everybody is talking about? You speak to anybody these days and everybody says, oh, frustration. You know, the contract of employment has been fundamentally affected by this coronavirus lockdown. But the answer is, it is not a permanent cessation of obligations. It's only temporary. What? Coronavirus lockdown started at the end of February. It commenced in Malaysia on the 16th of March and it is expected to continue for some time yet. But it is still a short event. It is not, as they argue in 
frustration or supervening event that completely alters the contract, it does not, the contract continues. And therefore, I do not think there is at this point in time any frustration at work here. However, I suspect if the suspension is for periods of longer than 6 months, a year, then we may have to reconsider whether frustration actually works, but for the moment do not worry about it. Uh, the movement control order, the lockdown is only temporary and therefore, I do not think frustration will work. So, as long as the movement control order or the lockdown is temporary, salaries have to be paid. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and if you liked this video, could you please share it with your friends. Thank you very much and have a good day.